Hi, how are ya? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Anyways, um, so I think I finished talking about uh, loops in the previous tutorial. And so what I'm going to do in this uh, tutorial is just show you how to print quote-unquote images. And it's not really an image, it's just the illusion of an image. So I'm going to show you how to print like a box, a rectangle, um, using like characters. Anyways, so if I wrote, um, and I'm going to use for loops because I like them better. If I say for int i equals zero, i less than five, i plus plus, and I did uh, sysnot.print. See, I got a text from someone. Okay, not right now. Okay, uh, if I did sysnot.print um, x, right? Not print ln, just print. And I ran that. This thing is going to happen five times, therefore it's going to print five x's. So let's run it. Voila, five X's, one, two, three, four, five. Great, awesome. So now, if um, if that prints five X's, right? And I want it to print a square that is five by five. So this whole line, let's call it, you know, the line. And I want this, I want the line to be printed five times. So that means I gotta put it in another for loop uh, and j equals zero, j less than five, j plus plus. Open coily voice and close coily voice. Now, technically, you don't really need those curly braces, but I just like to put them there. Now, when I run it, it goes, okay, I'm going to print five, 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 five. It prints five x's five times. They're right after each other. Now, I want to, I want to put them on top of each other so that it looks like, um, which I'm gonna call it a box. So what I'm gonna do is after the after one line is printed, I'm going to print just a new line. So that just prints a new line. So it's gonna print five x's new line, five x's new line, five x's new line, five x's new line, five x's. So it's five x. One, two, three, four, five by five. Okay, cool. So that's how you basically print a um, rectangle with these dimensions. Now obviously, if I increase this five to a fifteen. The inner for loop is the um, horizontal aspect of my image. And the outer for loop is the vertical aspect of my image. So if I change this 15, it's going to get like it's going to stretch this way. So let's run it. Boom, there you go. 15. Wow, amazing, right? Yeah, oh my goodness. All right, so um, just one last example. Let's say I just made this two. And it's going to be super skinny right so it's gonna go 15 across two times down so so this right here is the vertical or going down and this one this loop is the horizontal or going across actually left to right because that's how things are printed Okay, so you can get a little creative with this. So you can, instead of having 2 and 15, you can actually have variables. So you can have like um, int height, and you can make that equal to 10. And you can have an int width for width, and you can make that equal to 2. And you can change this to width, and this to height, and it'll draw um a box it'll draw two x's across um ten times down okay so that's um you know that's that's the basic idea so uh just to give you another example for a clues we can do something like um a triangle so I could say for example four and i equals one i less than Let's say less than, less than 5, and then i++. plus plus. So I'm going to make this loop happen 5 times. And i here, again, is my vertical aspect. Okay, so this, this is the outer loop. It's going to go down 5 times. All right? Now, on the inside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a for loop, 
um, int do, 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 j equals 0, j less than i, j plus plus. Now, to make things clearer, or more clear, uh, instead of i, I'm going to use um, row. Okay? That's just to make you understand what's about to happen. All right, so rows 1 goes up to 5. And j is just like, like my counter. My counter thingy. My counter thingy majiggy. My counter thingy majiggy majiggy majiggy. Anyways, um, row j plus plus. I'm going to say less than or equal to 5 because I want it to happen 5 times because I'm starting at 1. And I'm going to want it to happen row times across. All right, so inside this loop, I'm going to sysO. Um, this time I'm going to print the number sign just because I want to. And then I'm going to sysO a new line. So what's going to happen here is the following. This is going to print five rows down. One, two, three, four, five. And every time across, it's going to print row number of pound signs. So depending on what row is at that specific line, it's going to print, um, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, that many uh, pound signs. So let's, let's just show you. And let me comment this out so that we don't get confuzzled. Do, 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 do. All right, let's run it. Run. Oh, whoops, I forgot to take off this LN. It looks all ugly now. Boom. All right, so if you take a look at this, it drew sort of like a triangle kind of thing. Because when row is 1, right, which right here, when we're right here, we go to this for loop, and it says, you know what, I want you to go from 0 to 1, which is one time, and it prints that just one number sign. And then new line. It goes around rows 2. So when it goes inside the second for loop, it goes, okay, we're going to go from 0 to 2, which is 2 times. So it loops twice, and it prints 2 number signs. New line, and then it does 3. New line, and then it does 4. New line, it does 5, and so on. So I can flip this triangle uh, by simply swapping one minor thing. And that is, instead of starting at 1 going to 5, I can start at 5 and go down to 1. So I can say, as long as the row is greater than or equal to 1, and instead of row plus plus, I'm going to go down to row minus minus. And everything else stays the same. Because remember, the inner for loop, the horizontal aspect, or, I'm just probably not going to write hor, because that doesn't, that means whatever. Horizontal is going to go um, across. This is going to go across row time. So if row starts at 5, it's going to go across 5. And then it goes down to 4, and goes across 4. And so on. And that's it. So, I mean, those are just basic ones. You could do a lot of other cool things, but don't have all the time in the world. Okay, I'm done. Goodbye.